Welcome back to NHS News. Only 29 days until the last day of high school. And only 20 more school days until I'm finally a sophomore. Time is flying by. Let's check out what's going on in page one. A popular waterfront restaurant in Destin, Florida erupted in flames this weekend, causing a two-alarm fire. The firefighters said that by the time they made it, the restaurant, the entire third floor was fully engulfed. Thankfully, there were no civilian injuries, and the firefighters sustained only minor burns. Now let's check out some news at NHS. If you'd like to go to Ireland for spring break in 2025, then you should attend the virtual information meeting on May 7th at 6.30 p.m. The meeting link has been sent out to your Canvas announcements. If you have any questions, email Ms. Fodiatis. A new episode of Around the County is out now. Check out our stories about Miller breaking records and meet two friends in their journey across the stage at NHS. You can find these stories on our YouTube channel or millermedia.org. If you read one or more of these Rosie books this year, please stop by the library to collect your prizes. If you read five Rosie books, you can qualify for a pizza party. Make sure to check ratings to make sure your books count. Now let's see what's going on in trending today. Movie promotions are getting crazy. Apes were seen traveling through San Francisco on horseback to bring attention to the new Planet of the Apes sequel. The marketing campaign is bringing the movie to life through this promo. The sequel is coming to theaters next Friday. I'm definitely going to go see it. Now let's ride on over to meetings. The Asian Student Union is having their last meeting today at 2.30 in room 1237. Please send a pass to Ms. Hoshiko to attend. There will be a unified cheer call out on May 8th. The meeting will be held in the main cafeteria during AL at 2.40 or at 6 p.m. Email Ms. Wheelers or Ms. Thompson with any questions. I can't wait to graduate. I can't wait for Max to be gone. Speaking of Max, let's toss it over there, right after Theater Thursday. Just, I'm Addie. And I'm Lila. And you're watching Theater Thursday. Our Thespian induction ceremony is tonight at 7 p.m. This annual event will be in the NHS Auditorium and will honor our current Thespians, new inductees, as well as present various awards to our troop members. Please join us to support Troop 8118. The 2024 Fall Musical Reveal Party is next Wednesday during AL. Visit the bulletin board outside the choir rooms to see next year's potential musical options. Make a pass for 2.30 and head down to the large choir room to join in on the fun. NHS Theater will be at the Coffee Mill next Thursday and Friday. We will be selling iced coffee, drinks, and baked goods for only $3. Please help support our program by stopping by the NHS Library before school on May 9th and 10th. That's all for Theater Thursday. Follow us on Instagram and our TikTok to stay updated and informed. Have, Have a great day, Millers. Welcome back to sports. Jeez, man, that was uncalled for. I'm not even a senior, man. Personally, I wouldn't take that. I'll let it slide this time. Let's just get into sports. On Tuesday night, your Lady Millers placed fourth at the HCC Conference track meet. The Millers were led by Hannah Alexander, who won and set meet records in the discus and shot put, Summer Rimpey winning the 800-meter run, and Delaney Teichner winning the pole vault. Congrats, ladies. Your Miller girls softball team tragically fell to HCC last Tuesday. It was a hard-fought battle with Delaney Rundle, Gabby Fowler, Izzy Zapp, and Mac Harvey all scoring. Unfortunately, it was not enough, as the Millers were beaten in the 11th inning, 5-4. Catch them tonight at home against Kokomo. Best of luck, Millers. The Miller girls tennis team smashed Mount Vernon 4-1 last Tuesday. Bella Duncan, Ali Stam, and more scored. Catch them at home in the Hoosier Crossroads Conference Tournament tonight. Best of luck to the Millers. Now let's see what's going on in pro sports. After her time away, Gabby Douglas is back at it. The famous Olympian competed last Saturday in Katy, Texas, and she successfully qualified to compete at the U.S. Championships to help her find her way back into the Olympics in Paris this summer. Personally, I'm excited to see my girl back in action. For now, let's flip it over to sports tonight. Our sports media team is going to be very busy tonight. We start the night at 4 with the girls' tennis ACC at home, and then go to varsity softball at home starting at 5.30. Then at 6, JV black and gold baseball, both at HSC, and JV gold volleyball at Cathedral, and unified track at home. At 6.30, varsity baseball plays at home, and varsity volleyball plays at Cathedral. Good luck, Millers. Max, what's the quote of the day? Never judge a man by where he's standing, because you don't know how far he's come to stand there. Peace. Peace.